back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. I hope you guys had the best Christmas holiday. Oh my goodness, me and my family had an amazing Christmas. We just got to hang out and enjoy time with each other and it was the best ever. It felt really nice to get some time off and I also did really good last week. Finally did really good. I don't think I'm actually fully funded, but what? Let me pull it out here. I worked 34 hours and I got $728. So I did do the math on that and that puts me at $21.41 per hour. But I did spend $95 this week on gas. So minus $95 puts me back at $18.61 per hour. So that is over minimum wage. I am so relieved. So that is a good feeling. And I'm going to get into this coffee update. This coffee is in my brand new coffee cup. Compliments of my son for Christmas. He got me a mom cup. It has an M and O and M. <laughs> so I thought that was the most adorable mom cup I have ever seen. And I am just like melting over it. This is a holiday peppermint bark coffee from Great Value. That is Walmart's brand. And I do tend to really enjoy Walmart's coffee. I love how reasonably priced it is. And it has such a good flavor. So I assume this one is peppermint white chocolate. That's why it's peppermint bark. And it is um, a very light colored coffee. So we're going to give that a try. I'm a little bit concerned about how light it is, but we will see. Well, it definitely packs a punch with that light color. I really do like it. It has a lot of chocolatey flavor. It has the oily drops on top. Of course, this is a like limited edition, holiday edition coffee. I always end up loving those limited edition things. Well, I'll have to remember to look for this one again next year because this is very yummy coffee. And moving on from that, let's get into this gas I owe. I do owe $95 in gas. See if I have anything like $95. Wait, $99. Yeah, $99, I guess. All right. And I do have $250. Wait. Yeah, I'm just going to take the $250. $100. And that leaves $41 here. Is that right? $99. I had 316, so adding 99 would be 415. And 415 seems like a low amount to have in my debt at the end of the month. We're already at the end of the month, you guys. So I guess I've barely done anything. I've barely even put any buffer in. I've just been paying back gas and I've been spending less on gas because it's been down. It is going back up though. It's actually skyrocketed 50 cents between the last two times I bought gas. It was going, it was pretty reasonable. It was down um, at like 350 and it's right back to $4. So. $4 a gallon. It's going to cost me a lot more than the $3.50 a gallon that I have been spending, but we will get these colored now. So gas is blue. Get that all in. And today being payday, I do need to get my budget worked out. I didn't do a prepay check prep this week because I was so concerned about not having enough money. But I ended up almost fully funded. I think my normal is like 760 something. 
761 or something like that is like to fully fund my entire budget and I got the 728 so I know I will be fine with that I do still have some money left over in here so we can take a peek at that too get that out of the way I know I actually have money in groceries you guys I underfunded my groceries I have ten dollars left in groceries I underfunded my groceries and I thought I would be needing groceries but we have had so much extra food because we had a ham and a turkey for Christmas Eve and Christmas dinner and we still have some leftovers of the turkey um, we've been basically eating just that and getting the sides for that so even though I was only at 150 instead of 175 I still have ten dollars left and so I love that. It's like, I feel like I should, <laughs> I know that the turkey and the ham were only on sale because of the holiday seasons, but if I could just get these large amounts of meat and live off of them for a week, maybe it's meal prepping that I need to do. Because it seems like when we have that kind of thing, when we already have the meat in the fridge and we just are meal prepping from it and we just buying the little bits of sides and the fresh fruit and the milk, it seems like my budget loves that a lot more, but I gotta figure that out because I know that I did buy that ham and the turkey like weeks prior. And so that's how, that's how I had pre-purchased the meat. I, I feel like I can save money, but of course you can save money if you pre-purchase the meat in a different budget. Okay, I don't know, I'm just rambling on. I just wish there was a way to spend under $175 a week on groceries for us, but I feel like there kind of isn't. That is like the lowest I can get it. I would love to be able to spend 200 or more a week. So um, still sticking to the 175 budget. I think if I can make it there with the amount of money I made, we'll see that in a little bit when I do my budget. So let's keep going through my wallet. I do still have some money in shopping. 18, no, 17. Nothing in household, hobbies, entertainment, restaurants. So have five in pets and gifts and giving has six dollars left and I did spend that fifty dollars from my mom on different Christmas gifts and just rounded out Christmas and it made it so much nicer just to have the little extras um, I've had a wonderful holiday season and I really hope you guys have had a, an amazing year so we're going into 2024 in just a few days here and I am getting ready to reconcile, redo, reset, not just for the month, for the whole year. So I need to go over my budgets and figure things out and get a little bit tighter, a little bit stricter because money is getting a little bit tighter and a little bit stricter. And I don't know. I mean, I have the variable income, but I do know that the beginning of the year is not often like the hopping time of year. It's more <laughs> dead than um, other times of year. So I don't have high, high hopes for my upcoming paychecks and I am going to probably have to figure out a supplement, another side gig. I don't know, well, working on this YouTube channel might be a good side gig, but eBay, um, I do have a bunch of kids stuff that the kids have grown out of and I need to eBay and Craigslist some stuff. Maybe I can get a good um, like, early year springtime yard sale thing going on my Craigslist and eBay and supplement some of this. So with, I have options. I have things to do. I do have a very tight schedule the way that I run my life. I do have three small children and my husband is chronically ill. So makes our schedule very hard to work around. He cannot hold a full-time job because he has to sometimes be admitted to the hospital and it just, it gets in the way and I cannot have the normal nine to five because every once in a while, I mean, especially if he goes into the hospital, I have three kids to take care of and a full different schedule to work with. So it is what it is. And you know, we just work with what we got and you do what you can with what you got and you make things work. So Here's hoping things work without having to change too much, but I can always try and adjust and do some side gigging, like I said, sell some things online. That would actually make it so that I could stay home with the kids to do eBay and um, Craigslist and stuff and um, YouTube channel. Th those are all things I can do from home and spend a little more time with the kids. So I would love to be able to do that and still be able to do the gig work on the side for the deliveries and everything. Um, just 
have income coming, income streams coming from every direction. So that would really, really help. And I know it's going to get tighter this coming few months. So um, I'm just preparing. I'm, I'm very thankful for this last week that I've had. And actually this week that um, after Christmas has been pretty good too. So um, I'm looking forward to another good paycheck next Thursday. Fingers crossed that all works out. I haven't done, um, you know, the weekend yet, but it, the weekend is New Year's. So those are normally pretty good order days and I am looking forward to that. So let's get into this budget. I do need to work out this budget. I'm going to do my numbers and I'm going to speed through that so that you guys don't have to watch every little bit and get into those numbers so that I can figure out where my money is going this week. Move this out of the way here. This is last week's budget sheet and I'm just going to use it as a reference to build this week's. Oh, let's see. Black and gray. Should I go black and gray for New Year's? That sounds good to me. I'm going to go December. Week number four. And there are only four weeks in December. The way I decide how many weeks are in a month is I go to my payday. My payday is Thursday. And I count. There's four Thursdays this month. So there's four weeks in this month. That's how I work it out anyway. So I am at week number four. This is the last paycheck of December. It goes from 12, 28 through, what would that be? Oh, one of the presents I got is actually a little calendar book. I'm going to show you that and I'm going to like peek at the calendar in here. This is a cute little book that my daughter got me and it just says be organized and it actually is just a um, 2024 calendar. So let's see January here will be till the third. again. One, two, three, four weeks of next month too. So we'll have four paychecks in next in January. This is my fixed category, my flexible category. That is what I want to put on my weekly budget to adjust, but my fixed don't adjust. They are fixed. So I can just throw those on there really quick. They are all filled out here, but I'm kind of going to just cheat this time and quickly write their categories plus their total. So I'm going to go rent, electric, water, propane, trash. Car payments, car insurance, phones, Wi-Fi, and subscriptions. And I'm just going to say that adds up to $394 because it does. And that is the one-fourth amount to fulfill that fixed budget for the month of December. So moving on to my flexible, I have gas groceries, pets, shopping, household, maintenance, and the credit card buffer. I'm not going to fill those in yet. Like last week I barely had anything. All I did was fulfill my gas and my groceries. So this week, I'm going to take my calculator now. Oh. I didn't write my total yet. Let me switch colors, right? Total income. And that was $728 this week. So I'm going to say 728 minus 394 equals 334. So I'm going to take my 334 and break it down into my flexible categories and find out where I'm going to spend that. And 
I do have a monthly budget worked out. So for my monthly budget for gas, I like to have $500. So when I break that into one fourth amounts, we have $125 that I would like to put into that gas category. So I do have $41 left over in gas and I've built that buffer up and I have been spending more like $100 a week, but gas is going up. So I think I am going to stick to like the 120, I think I'll do 120. So I will say minus 120 equals 214. So I do like to use a pencil for this in case I end up adjusting or changing these numbers. So I am going to say 120 right there. And that left me with 214. So for the groceries, 175 really has been the sweet spot. I do have the $10 left and we actually do have some turkey left over. So I think I'm going to do $165 and I think I'll be fine. So we're going to go minus 165 and we'll have 49 left. So for pets, I do need to get something in pets. I only have $5 in my wallet and I know that I need litter. Litter is, I think it's like $13 or something like that. But I do want to fund my pets. Normally I, I was doing 45 for the month. And so I was breaking down the pets uh, to like 11, 25 or something, something to that effect. So um, I think I'm just gonna give it a $10 bill though. And then we'll say minus 10. I have $39. Shopping, I did have something left in shopping and I didn't have anything in household. I think I will give the $9 to shopping. So minus nine, leaves me with 30. Household, I can have, let's see, if I do 10, 10 and 10, 10 in household, 10 in maintenance, 10 in buffer, then everybody gets something. So I think I'll do that, 10, 10, 10 and so that is minus 30 and we have a zero dollar budget so this i will add this back up again and make sure that it adds up to the right amount but it should be 120 plus 165 plus 10 9 10 10 and 10 makes the 334 that we started with and that is perfect 334 plus 394 should equal the 728 and it does. So I do not have anything extra for my cash envelopes this time, but I did fully fund my regular fixed and flexible budget enough for us to be happy with this week's budget and be comfortable. Everything should be fine. We need to figure out what I need to break down from the bank because I do leave this money in the bank to pay these fixed bills but I wanna pull this money to put into my binders in my wallet so that I can use this in cash. I do my variable in cash and it does really help me on my budget. It has changed my life these last like eight months I've been doing this. I have learned how to do this and I feel like it just flows now. It, I mean, it only took about three or four months to really start to flow, but now that I am eight months down the road, it really flows, it's really easy, it's easy to stay on budget and it's easy to visualize and see what you have coming up and what you have to spend. It helps me so much. So I am gonna do that, I'm gonna pull this cash and get that stuffed. Let me get this out of the way. Find out what we need here. So for gas, I say $120, but I do not want just 120. Let me get a 150, 20 five and one broken down right there like i said i don't i don't want to just get a hundred and a twenty so i want to get something like two fifties and two tens that, that sounds better to me so i'm going to do two fifties and two tens for the groceries for 165 a hundred dollar bill is fine a fifty dollar bill a ten and a five pets gets a ten Shopping gets nine, five, one, two, three, four. And we have three more tens. Okay, so now we're gonna add that up and make sure that that is right. So $100 would be $100. 350s would be 150. Zero 20s, seven tens. Seven tens would be 70. Two fives would be 10 and four ones would be four. 
$334, which is exactly what we have here. So that is right. $334 is what we are getting from the bank. And that is one 100, three fifties, zero twenties, seven tens, two fives, and four ones. All right, so I'm gonna go grab that and I'll be back to stuff that with you. Hello, I am back. Okay, so I got the money from the bank. I also brought my change in from my car. I need to add that to this, but I do have a second coffee update. So this is a Green Mountain chocolate hazelnut, dark chocolate hazelnut, and this is a very yummy coffee. This is one of my favorites, but I had to break out a third Christmas present. So as you know, I have three children. Uh, you may not know, but I do have three children. So I did show you from my son, my youngest, my mom cup from my oldest, my be organized little calendar. But from my middle little, another coffee cup. And oh my goodness, this one's so cute, isn't it? It's Mickey and Minnie. And I think they have hot cocoa because I see marshmallows. And then it says cozy Christmas. So this is a very yummy coffee and I'm going to take a sip. So just want to give you another little quick peek just because it's so cute. Just want to say thank you again to all my little ones, all my babies for such a great Christmas. They did say that one of their favorite parts was actually getting to go shopping for everyone and wrapping the presents and getting people, getting to watch people open them. So I was so excited to open the um, presents from the kids and they were even more excited to watch me open them. And it was like uh, happy tears, wonderful moments in life. Really, you it is just, Christmas helps you point out the wonderful moments in life, but you know, the little moments, it is those things each day that cause those memories. Like later on in life, you're just going to be like, I remember that Christmas when I got the coffee cups, <laughs> um, the mom cup or whatever. Um, but you know, I, I get sentimental, so I need to let that go and just empty my change. Okay. So thank you for wonderful gifts for Christmas. And, um, didn't do a ton of shopping this week, so I don't have a ton of change. It looks like it's like a dollar or something, but every little bit adds up here because this is going to go to my giveaway. When I get to 500 subscribers, you guys are going to get a chance to win this, and it looks like it's growing pretty good. I'm, I'm going to count it eventually, I'm sure, but we are only at 255 or something like that right now, so we will get to that later, and right now, let's get into this cash stuffing. I will have $334 right here in this deposit envelope. Count that out. And there should be four ones. And two fives. And seven tens. No 20s, but three fifties and one 100. All right, so we've got that and we're gonna go straight to the gas where we wanna put $120, but we're doing it as two fifties and two tens. Excuse me. So I'm gonna take two fifties and two tens. Oh. And stick that into gas. And what did I say I had earlier? I think I had 41. Yeah? Okay. So. There you go. Stick that in here. And I think the next thing I'm going to do is go to my wallet. Because I'm going to take. Oh, actually, you know what? I, I'm going to stay in this binder. Because I don't want all of my money to go into the groceries. So. I did 165 in groceries, and I think I'm going to do 150, 65. I'm going to stick it all in here for now. Right. Now, for pets, we did $10. And 
for shopping. Do I do nine? Yeah, it's nine dollars. Nine dollars for shopping. Household dot a ten. The car maintenance, house maintenance, maintenance got a ten. And I actually do need to check in and see how much maintenance money I have because I need tires, you guys. I have I buy two tires at a time, but I use up my tires pretty quickly with all my delivery driving. So I need to check into that and get some tires soon. And I'm adding a $10 buffer to this. I had $415, so now that's going to be $30. That's going to be $425. that now I want to grab my wallet and see what I can get into I have the ten dollars in groceries so I know I need more than that I think I'm just going to take I'm going to take the 65 and leave the hundred so I'll have 75 in groceries for pet care I am going to take this 10 out of here and add it to the five so I have 15 in here because I do need to get litter. There we go, 15 in there. For shopping, I might as well add all the shopping into my wallet in case I do need to buy something because this is only nine more dollars. And how much did I already have in here? Um, B17. So there we go, 20 cents. Household has a 10 in here now, and I might as well just stick it into here. That is good enough for my wallet. I'll leave nothing in hobbies, nothing in entertainment, and nothing in restaurants. And it has been like that for quite some time, but we don't really do those type of things anyway. We're totally homebodies, and we just like stream movies on Disney+. Plus. So that is basically what we do with our free time. So we don't need that kind of stuff to be funded right now anyway. And that gets me all set for this week. I'm feeling better about this week. So now that I've got my wallet all stuffed and I actually am pretty good on groceries and I've got groceries stuffed, I've got gas stuffed, I'm doing good this week. I am just going to keep moving and keep going and do some more deliveries and keep everything flowing hopefully i can get some good hours in hopefully i'll get close to 40 hours this week and we will see so thank you guys so much for joining me thank you for being here i hope you have an awesome happy new year's and a very safe new year's eve um, it really has meant so much to me to have you guys here with me. It has been a life changer, a game changer. And as I go into 2024, I feel so much more collected, so much more together, so much more ready for the year than I ever have before. And I hope to get everything reset and shared with you guys because this community has just been so amazing, so helpful, so generous and kind. You guys are such good friends. And I really enjoy all of your guys' videos and then the, you guys comment on mine. We can all learn from each other and keep our budgets going and keep supporting each other so that we can really get through this next year on the plus side. I don't want to have any more negative, no more underfunded budgets. I don't like that word. I don't like being underfunded. So that's why I like to just adjust my budget to fix what I earned. <laughs> I'm adjusting my budget to fit with my variable income and it's not underfunded. It's funded enough. I, I don't know how to say it good, but um, maybe over this next year, I'll figure out what I mean and what I'm trying to say. But thank you guys for joining me and thank you for continuing to follow along, even though I stumble and bumble along the way and you guys just pick me up and support me. It really, really has been invaluable. It's been truly the best biggest thing helping me and my finances has been this YouTube channel um, 
it just kept me going. It really has. So here's to 2024. And thank you guys so much for being here. I'll be back again soon. And I hope you are too. Bye-bye now.